Hello folks, my name is Jaeger O'Kane, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of Survivor gameplay for you. I'm playing Felix, I really like the Survivor a lot, I love his look, I love his story, and I really like Built to Last and Desperate Measures. So we're using the yellow toolbox with that one add-on that gives us a little bit more um, repair speed. We're using uh, Dead Hard and Windows of Opportunity, sorry about that. Dead Hard is just kind of a really easy perk to use. It's just great at extending chases. It's an incredibly dominant perk in the meta. There's no other way around it. Windows of Opportunity, because it's my favorite perk to use, especially in those niche situations where you just need to know if there's a pallet where you're going or not, or a pallet nearby that you can use. Um, built to last, whenever you use an item to the fullest, after a short cooldown, you get half of your item charges back. And Desperate Measures, for every injured survivor, you unhook and heal people faster. And I think it's something else, but I can't remember exactly, so I'm just going to say it's the unhooking and healing. Which is a pretty cool little perk. Honestly, um, Botany Knowledge, Desperate Measures, and Self-Care is kind of insane. Um, I personally prefer it with something like... Uh, what is that one chain perk? The one where you heal other people, you gain half of the heal on your own progress bar. So somebody sent us to Haddonfield, which I think is super dirty, because I think this map is really gross. But it is a nurse. So hopefully, it's a really strong nurse. It is Haddonfield though, so I can't really give the nurse too much hope. I mean, I don't know, the nurse is pretty strong, maybe she can do better on Haddonfield than most killers. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I really like Builds of Last and Desert Measures, I think they're very interesting perks. I feel like they can definitely help shift the meta when the meta finally changes and the incredibly powerful survivor perks that are really popular at high ranks get some sort of rework, if they ever do. At this current moment in time, it doesn't look like they're getting any changes anytime soon, which is really sad, but you can only do so much. So, I was going to try to share some stories from my job, because I work overnight shift at a gas station, but I do have a nurse, so I do kind of want to take a little bit more time to concentrate this game, because nurse games tend to be very stressful. So what I need to do now is I personally need to go for this save. So I can get the altruism. I think she's in chase right now. Just be weird. We're gonna get in this corner right here. She teleported away. I will be unhooking her faster thanks to desperate measures. So that's a little bit of easy to get out of this perk. Yep, and then I'm gonna heal her faster because of desperate measures. I think she's in a chase right now. Good, so I'm going to be healing somebody even faster than she hits somebody else. This is the power of Desperate Measures. It's just a really strong perk to heal other people with. Especially if there's something like Sloppy Butcher. It's it's insanely good. We're going to do this, Jen, because it's more in the open. And it's a hard hit to pull off later on. And I'd like to do this one now. Just to make it easier for Endgame if we get there. It is a nurse. They tend to do really strong. But it sounds like she's having trouble teleporting, which is it had field, I understand why. Kinda need her. Oh, she has ruin. That's okay, so I have to I have to dedicate myself to the, Oh wait, no, that's undying. I have to dedicate myself to this gen until it's done. Or I get chased off of it physically by the nurse. Because she has ruin, so if we drop the gen then it's going to rapidly regress because Ruin is still up. It regresses by like 200%, which is pretty good. So it looks like she's having problems finishing people off in chases, so maybe I can get lucky. I am a pretty weird survivor when it comes to chases. I like to do seemingly oddball things. I don't know if I heard somebody near me. Crap. Oh, we're going to lose a lot of progress here. I need her to think we're not here. I need her to think we're not here. Yeah. I need her to go that way so I can finish this. I lost a little bit of progress there, but I really need this gen done. 
so she's chasing her. I don't really want to go against that crap. No! Okay, she's dedicated to camping this. Let her chase. Let she has. I have to take this big chase off. She's gonna go back. Oh no! Oh, this will help right now. If I get this done right now, hopefully it is ruin. Hopefully they got undying earlier and not ruin. So I'm assuming it is ruin and undying. Well, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Oh, they got the chain I was working on done. Good. So it looks like it is ruined and undying, and we still have not gotten it. I'm gonna look down here for a totem. It is a really close. It would have been really close for that to be it. So, as much as I would like to get this gen done, I'm not going to. I feel like. I feel like this nurse is kind of confused. Get some more desperate measures value. Maybe she's in a chase. Yeah, I'll let her go. Try to get some heal off of her real quick. Hey! I really wish I had comms, but random solo queue survivor. Hey! Hey, 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 I'm right here. Yeah, it's fine. I got desperate measures, so I'm gonna heal you faster. God, this perk is so good. Built to last doesn't really do much unless you have a med kit, in my opinion. That's when Built to last really shines. Well, we did get a little bit faster gen progress earlier, so. Not gonna bash built to last. You didn't finish the heal. Yeah, I hate that. You think it's done, then you start running, and then it takes a second or two to finish the heal. Um, where am I running? Okay, so we haven't gotten ruined, but I've gotten a crap little Lightbringer and Altruism. I think it is safe to say that I have pipped this game. At least black pipped, for sure. I think she's over there. Okay, so she got her down. Oh, okay, did she see me? I don't think she did. I'm gonna get right here, because I blend in a little bit to the wall. And hopefully she just doesn't look at the vest. This is the gen that she wants, though. I think Rowan might be up here. Just check real quick. She is insistent on slugging this person. This is a solo gen. This is a dangerous gen to do right now. I'd rather this be open later. Just because my this is slugging her right there, so. Ooh. Where is that? I want I want to finish this. Okay, he's got her. That. We need this. Okay. I'd normally go for Ruin right about now, but she has no clue where she's going. I think Ruin might be over there, actually, because that's where she's run to. I think she's trying to protect Ruin. So, for the sake of the team, I'm going to do this, which seems a little stupid right now, but... Did Ruin spawn literally under me? Three times! Man... You know, in some of my killer games, I've said how Undying would do the thing that it's going to do in the new patch, which is die for Ruin's sake. But oh my gosh, is this ridiculous? This is just absolutely unfair <laughs> for the sake of survivors. Just because how are they supposed to? How are they supposed to do gens? As the killer main, I feel like this is absolutely ridiculous. I understand the new Undying nerf, where they basically make it to where it's the first thing gone, guaranteed. I personally feel like it adds a lot more synergy and potential to what you can and can't use with your bills. It does kind of require you to use something like Thrill to make it even better. I mean, I, I still think Undying will be good. I still think the idea of the perk is still really good. Kind of just man mode this let her chase this nurse does not have any pressure whatsoever 
So you can very quickly snowball. She just does not have the pressure because she hasn't gotten the downs. Uh, we have gotten a lot of Lightbringer and a lot of Altruism now. So I will at least Black Pip, I'm pretty sure of. Yeah, you can't do this one, buddy. Unless you prove thyself, that would really help, but you don't. So, I was gonna start talking about gas stations and stuff, but again, the nurse makes you kinda have to focus more. Just because the nurse doesn't obey the normal rules of chases, because she can just blink through pallets and blink through walls and just catch up to you. You have to do really weird stuff to catch the nurse off guard. This nurse probably has no ed. I know that was stupid, but... Did she just jump? What is this nurse doing? You better drop. Yeah, I used dead hard because I thought she was going to teleport again. Again, with the nurse, you have to do really weird stuff while you're looping. If it be unpredictable. Or drop this. Just for the sake of distance. Crap. I'm super dead here. Because I'm in the basement, I bet. I need, I need him to run right in front of me. Thank goodness! I think she has no edit, she's trying to down him. Sorry, I kind of clammed up there for a second. I, I stressed out because, you know, I had a nurse right on me and I'm injured. We're gonna let Dead Heart come back. So there's no no ed. Yikes. Wow, this nurse just had a really bad game. We're gonna walk, not because it's the best idea, but because. Are they at a door? I think that might be a door. I don't know where the doors are right now. I'm just, I'm walking so I get dead heart back because I am injured. And it is a valuable perk to have, especially against a nurse. She might just camp her. Okay, the door is right there that I want. Okay, dead heart's back. And she's dead. Oh no. Oh no. Why won't we finish this door? Boom! I'll see you later. I don't want you to have any more altruism. I'm done. It's a nurse. You never know. Okay. Well. That went very poorly for the nurse, but that's just... When you're learning the nurse, it can be really hard. Oh, cool. Look at my archive done. So... Oh, wow, I two-pipped. Okay. Whispers. It's, it's not a bad perk setup. It's just, in my opinion, this killer needs more slowdown. Nurses is good. I just don't think it's good on the nurse. Personally. It's okay. There's just better aura reading stuff. I think barbecue and infectious are much better on her. Especially over whispers. So yeah, uh, I guess, thanks for tuning in. This is a bit less of an informative video, but hopefully you got some nice little tips against the nurse, and at least my commentary was educational or somewhat entertaining, I don't know. Thanks for tuning in.